Right, fellas, welcome to another edition of Ben's Angle. And uh, we are at Cottington Lakes, but we're on Christine this time. So, uh, as you can see, all the van is unloaded. I've just literally got one rod and a bucket there. All the gear is in the swim boat, chaps. That ain't what I come fishing with. So, uh, let's have a little walk. And I'll tell you a little bit about the lake while we're having a walk to the swim. Right, basically, Cottington Christine. And it's, um, again, an unsung hero on Cottington really because everyone goes on pepper and uh, like I say there's some big fish in this one I remember when we netted it we got out 18 different 30s I mean that was about five years ago so there could be over 20 odd 30s in here now there's even a 40 pounder in here now solid 20s lake and uh, as you can see I don't know if the cameraman can pick that mark or float up in the background but that's one of my spots over the back there and uh, but yeah, we're down in peg four. We're down on that side of the lake. So uh, for people that are fish the elite, it's peg 17. And uh, we're gonna give that a go. As you can see, chaps, all the lakes here are otter fence. So uh, we'll go through the gate now. And we'll have a little wander. Right. Like I say, chaps, there's some good fish in this one. And uh, just shut that gate. So, chaps, once you go through the gates at Cottington, just make sure they're shut, yeah. Yeah, there's some good fish in this one. It used to be known for its 30 pound commons in here. Um, like we used to say back in the day, um, if you want a 30 plus mirror, go on Pepper. If you want a 30 pound common, you come on Christine. And it's still the one. I mean, my biggest fish I've had out of here is 35, 14. Mind you, that was about four years ago, chaps. So, like I say, I don't come on here a lot, but like I say, it's a bit of an unsung hero. and. The lads from the elite, they do well on here and there's always 30s coming out of here and 20s. So that's the plan this weekend. Obviously it's a day ticket. If you go onto Cottington's website, you'll see that there's a, a diary system there. And basically if you click onto that, it tells you your availability or non-availability. And the good thing about it is chaps, it means you've got to swim. You know, it's a bit like coking, but the difference is you cannot uh, book your peg but it does mean that you're on, so you're guaranteed a swim. Not like some of these other day tickets, you go all the way up there, you've got to come all the way bloody back, innit, you know? But like I say, we're getting to the swim now, chaps. I'm going to get some bait out. The marker float's already out. The house is set up, and uh, camera's made me a lovely cup of tea, because I'm an old git now. And uh, I'll come back to you very soon. But yeah, there's the intro. We're on Cottington at Christine Lakes, me and Cameron. Let's see if we can bag a few of these twenties up. Where this is a very, very silty lake, this is why we're using chops. But basically, I want to spray them everywhere out there so it lands on all that fluffy silt and I want it to go everywhere. So basically, the carp can come in from any angle, from whatever way they come in, they're going to get a bit of bait. Now, the idea of this spread bait in so it doesn't look like a trap. So when they come round, they find one chop and they find another. And before you know it, that fish is a catchable carp. So we're spraying this all around that float. Left, right, front of it, it's going everywhere. It's not bad baiting up, I'm doing it on purpose, chaps. Because that is how you should be fishing, Christine. They do like a drop of bait in this one. That is what we're going to do. All right, we're going to continue going up. You don't have to watch that, and uh, we'll go from there. Chirps. <clears throat> not exactly the start that we wanted, but the uh, yeah, a bream. Gotta love a bream, then you? Uh, yeah, anyway, like I was saying, that one was off the island, that in very, very, very shallow water. And uh, let's get the bait back on now. Basically, we're using 12 mil baits on this, and this is the TNT 
got a couple of little special ingredients in it, as they say. So, um, yeah, we'll get that on now. But yeah, I was not expecting now. Thought it might have been a car bike, chaps, you know? But yeah, very, very simple rigs, as you guys can see. A lot doesn't change with me when it comes to rigs. Here at Cottington, you have to use tubing, no matter what. It has to be tubing, especially fishing with a bottom bait or a pop-up. I mean, I will go more into, into rigs, etc. <clears throat> later on in the show. But yeah, pretty bog standard. Just a lead clip. Size 6 and a 12mm bait on that. So I'm just going to put some baits down the old castaway tube. Let me grab the rig. And all I'm doing is just hooking that on. And the one thing I will say, chaps, about hooking bags on, because I see it quite a lot on YouTube, do not, I mean, do not hook the knot. So, just move that tube out of the way. As you can see, I've gone through the bag itself. I see a lot of people hooking it under the knot or even in the knot. The knot is always the last thing to melt on PVO. So, try and hook it dead centre, because that'll be the first thing that will melt. And talking about melting, as you can see, my shirt is off. It is absolutely red hot here. So um, basically the rods are out, but we're waiting for that evening period. I'm waiting for that sun to drop. You know, once that sun drops, I think we could be, uh, I think we could be quids in chaps. So, uh, right, I'm gonna get this rod out. No doubt you're gonna watch me and see how far we can get it up on the island. Ryan, your venue regular. 20 pound two, Ryan? Lovely. Just let you guys know, Ryan's fishing next to me. I mean, for people that fish Cottington, Christine, I'm in peg four, Ryan's in peg three. It's literally like you're on top of each other. So whether Ryan likes it or not, we've become friends. So, <laughs> but no, I met Ryan last time on the previous video on Pepper. As you guys know, I was in peg 10 and uh, I was in peg 10, Ryan was in peg 11, and uh, looks like Ryan's getting his own back because he was my photographer. Looks like I'm going to be his photographer now, so uh, but yeah, that's. I took some... the broom last time, I think it's yeah, it should be. Yeah, I've had a broom, that's it, so roles are reversed. But this is what Cottington can produce, lads. This is, this is what I do in the elite takes. chaps, yeah. yeah. I'll just get a text message, got one, and then I have to come in and deal with it. Yeah, yeah. They've seen the camera. That's it. You're, like you're famous now, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. You're famous now. That's a beautiful comment. Do you know what? I think I'll leave you with that. Let's have a look. Sorry, got my shadow. That is a beautiful £20 two, right? Yeah. Yep. That's a stunner, that one, mate. So. That's it, mate. He's had two now. So, uh, But yeah, chaps, that's what Christine can do. It's a very, very good 20s lake. It's a solid 20s lake. Good start to the evening, that. Well done, Ryan. All right, chaps. Here we go. This is Ryan again. Bless him. And again. Don't need ben, ben on Ben's angle, do we, chaps? It's ben and Ryan's angle. Ryan. Yeah, that's it. Or should we just call it Ryan's yeah. angle? <laughs> no, so, we need Bream, right? Yeah, we need Bream, see? He's getting his own bait, chaps, isn't he, eh? But yeah, this one here is fish known as Mini Cluster. And uh, to be fair, she's actually a, a pepper fish. And uh, yes, we'll leave that one there. And... Uh, but yeah, 29.12, but this is what you can catch in Christine, lads. So, as you saw, saw earlier, Ryan with a lovely 20 pound comment. And now he has mini cluster at 29.12. So, it's not a runs late, Christine, as people might think. And there are a lot of big carp in here. So, uh, I'm going to spin it round, mate, and then I can show everyone why it's called mini cluster. And then I'll take some pictures for you. A big cluster in pepper, which normally goes 37.38. And uh, yeah, this one's like a twin of her, really. When Ryan lifts it up, I shall show you why it gets its name, Mini Cluster. There you 
you go. From that bit there, chaps. So if you see her, from Christine, that is Mini Cluster. You happy, mate? Yep, lovely. All right, isn't you? Very happy. That's it. So two That's fish for Ryan. One before sunlight drops. Yeah. That's it. Fair play to you, mate. I've got to catch you up now, haven't I? Yeah, it's only free. You, yeah. you it. got it. That's it. So there you go, look. So, right, let's get some shots for you. Perfect. Right, chaps, we're coming on to that Friday evening now, and uh, yeah, well, they can come off for starters because now the sun's gone down, and uh, yeah, the temperatures are finally with us now. So, uh, it's fished quite hard this afternoon, like I say, got here this afternoon. And uh, gentleman to the right of me, Ryan, he's had two lovely fish, as you've seen a uh, 20 pound common and a mini cluster at 29.12. Um, so, yeah, hopefully it's our turn now. Like I say, the sun has gone down now just redone the rods i've just rebaited and uh i've got one out in the open water and one on a drop off on the, on an island and let's hope that does the damage normally on them spots i do get bites off of them it'll be sods lord there's a camera here and i won't now um but yeah like i say we've had a lovely barbecue tonight i'll go through more with rigs and bait tomorrow but yeah hopefully we'll uh we'll bag a couple tonight like i say i do feel confident i think i can nick one or two tonight and uh, but it's nice that that sun's gone down. Do you know what, chaps? I'm actually burnt. I've actually really caught the sun. My arms are on fire. So tomorrow, apparently, we've got different conditions. We've got overcast tomorrow. We've even got a drop of rain. So I would prefer to have that than uh, mid-20s, let's put it that way. So uh, <coughs> excuse me. But yeah, I think we'll leave it there for the Friday update. Hopefully, me and Cameron can nick one tonight each. And... Uh, no doubt I shall see you in the morning, hopefully, going, voila. So, uh, but yeah, we'll think we'll leave that one there, chaps, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Right, and there we go. Ryan's showing us the way still. One from last night. What was it, Ryan? Uh, 31.8. 31.8. This one is an original Christine fish, this one. Hello, mate. So, uh, remember getting this one in the netting. So, uh, but yeah, it just shows you what swimming around in Christine. So, uh, I've got to say, you've done all right, mate, haven't you? Very nice, this one. Yeah. What we come for. So, uh, yeah, well pleased for him. So, it's another one for him. He's showing everyone the way. And, uh, Glad you're next to us, really, mate. <laughs> we show the viewers some, some fish. Yeah. yeah, exactly, you know. So, uh, yeah, great. I'll get some shots for him. And, uh, but yeah, lovely 31 pounder from Christine, that one. Try to explain what's just happened. Oh, mate. You know when you get one of them sessions, chaps, right? Where you think, yep, yeah, everything's going to go to plan. Oh, no. She wants to bite back. Christine wants to bite my backside. And that is basically what is happening. Redone the rods. Right hand rods just absolutely rip round. Oh, yep, here we go. Turn out to be attention. So, so far, we have had two bream. And we have had attention now. So I'm getting closer. But you know when it starts to aggravate you? <laughs> I'm getting to that point, chap. So. But, mind you, next species will probably be a grass carp now. I know there's a couple of them in here. But yeah, as I say, it's turning into one of those sessions now. And I'm hoping we're going to snap out of it. So, uh, let's get some lead into me up bait just to balance the old wafter out. And then, uh, Let's get that rod straight back out. So basically we've changed tactics. I will do a, an update in a minute with what's gone on. But instead of putting quite a bit of bait out, I'm 
just going to stick some bags out. I know it was a tench, but it worked. So maybe by me putting out quite a bit of bait has actually cost me. So, uh, but today we will find out. Right, morning chaps, and uh, like I said, we'll give you a morning update, and uh, yeah, I can't believe it, we've had nothing, and uh, all for my efforts, we had two bream and a tench, and uh, I think Cameron might have got wiped out last night by a trailer or something, so, uh, so yeah, at the moment, it's certainly biting back, Christine, and uh, yeah, I can't believe it, I mean, normally they like their bait on this lake, so I put the marker out, as you guys have seen, put absolutely loads of chops out there, load of boilies, <clears throat> and it hasn't paid off. And it's the same on my left dam rod, done the same just as it shelves off on the island. Two very good areas I've caught a lot, a lot of carp from. Can't buy a bite. Got the gentleman to the right of me. He's fishing to the out of bounds bank. And he's clearing up. So it seems like they want to be on that side, <clears throat> and basically in that out of bounds bank. And uh, cause yeah, the rest of the lake, we're all struggling. So, uh, oh, oh, is that a bite? Yep, yep. It's another bloody bream, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. No, nothing there. Must have been another bloody trailer. The joys, chaps, the joys. Anyway, like I was saying, it's been a very, very frustrating trip. So, what I'm gonna start doing is now, is just using bags. So basically I've pulled off the baited areas and we're just flicking little bags of boilies around. I'm gonna try and, try and find them and try and trap them as they say. So, uh, but yeah, to be honest with you, I thought I'd have had more than one by now. But it's just biting back. I think it's just one of those sessions, chaps, where you know sometimes where it gets frustrating so you like to say you've got a gentleman next to you who's doing very well and fair play to him and where you're so close but you can't get anywhere near that zone and uh yeah it's very frustrating but today's different temperatures it ain't gonna be as hot today as you can see i'm wrapped up and uh, we've got a bit of rain forecast as well so <clears throat> hopefully fingers crossed we shall get our first one but yeah to be honest with you i'm quite shocked but it does go like this on this lake. Like some people think that this place can be a run to water. Christine can be a very, very tricky little lake when it wants to be, and uh, it's certainly biting back now. So I'm going to get this rod back out. I'm fishing this one up further up the shelf now. Just a little bag of boilies, not many, you know, five or six in a bag. I'm fishing for a bite at a time now instead of putting like a big bed of bait out now because they're clearly not having it. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to get that rig done now. All right, down filming. With Ben coining, managed to get this, uh, the chance to get the rods out. Last night I got wiped out on this rod down the right hand margin. Um, it's about 8 o'clock now this morning. Just had this very angry male coming. There we are. First one of the year. Uh, a nice opportunist fish. Still got another, well, probably another uh, at least 24. 28 hours left. See if we can't bag another one. Can't stand Ben up. So it's his turn to uh, put finger out and start levering some out and all. Uh, I'll try, mate. I'll try. <laughs> but yeah, we'll get it back and uh, continue. Right, lads, I thought we'd just come onto the rig side of things here at Christine Lake at Cottington. And uh, obviously, there are rules that we have to follow. And well, supposedly. So, um, Right, basically, as you can see, well, I've got a fluorocarbon mainline. Now that's in 21 pound. Obviously it's like a heavy sinking one. And on all Cottington lakes, you are supposed to use tubing. Yes, that is correct, supposed. And I suggest you use it, because if you do get caught by a bay lift, I don't know if you'll be here much longer. So basically I've got about, I don't know, two foot of tubing on there. 
We then come down, you've got a towel rubber, and as you can see, I've got like a clay gravel clip on. Now this rod was actually onto the island. Now all the islands here on Christine, have got gravel on them. So I do like to mix the colors around. As you can see, I've got an SM lead there. That's a three ounce square. That's the leads that I do prefer to use on here. We come down, we've got a snap link there as well. And then basically we've got about a five inch hook length, just a coated braid. This is the Deceptor link from Deception. I've then got a size six Deception DX curve on that. Obviously you can see it's just got a little bit of shrink tube there. And then it's got a bit of silicon just to hold the hair in place. Obviously the bait is a 12 mil TNT from Steamies. But yeah, a very basic rig here. Like I say, all rigs have got to have tubing behind it. So basically, everyone is near enough using the same rigs. So I can only think of a few. I mean, yeah, you could use a running lead, but it's got to be with tubing. You can use a helicopter rig. It's got to be with tubing or a safety clip with tubing. So they're not riggy carp, I would say, but they can be finicky with certain sizes of baits on Christine, as it's proving at the moment. But yeah, that's the, the rig mechanics. Like I say, it's all from Deception, that lot. And lads, you must use tubing. So uh, I suggest use it. I think we'll leave that there. And that is the rig side of things done for Christine. There we go, chaps. Well, so I don't know about Ben's angle, we should call it Ryan's angle this session. And uh, that's what it's all about, chaps. At the end of the day, if someone's having a red letter session and I'm next to you with a camera, give me a shout and I will film you. The man's on fire. 35 pound eight. And it's one of Christine's original mirrors. He's had a 2912, 31 common, 31 mirror, and a 35 and a half mirror now. And people say, oh, there's no, no big fish in Christine. Well, you've near enough had four thirties, mate. Plenty of them. Yeah. And he's doing very, very well, shall I say. I mean, he's had twenties as well and doubles. He's the only one catching. All right, yes, they are in front of him, but you've still got to catch them. And at the end of the day, he's fishing very well. And uh, yeah, that is one of the original Christine big mirrors, that one. I say, chaps, they are in here. And there's the other side of her. What a beautiful car. Lovely fish. Thin perfect, that one, mate. PB for this lake, innit? For this lake, yep. Yeah, nice. Well done. Very much so. A beautiful carp. Very happy. I think we'll let relieve Ryan with, on his own. There you go, get some shots. But yeah, absolutely stunning carp from Christine. Like I say, chaps, they are in here. Got one on. This took a while.
Nope. Double take. <laughs> Problem is here at Christine because it's not a deep lake. The deepest part of Christine is four foot, so they can't go down. Hence why you get these massive battles with them. As like I say, the average depth out in front of this swim is about two and a half foot, three foot max. And here she comes. Hopefully, come on. Surely you've got to be done now. I can't believe this thing is still pulling. Oh, he's going again. Where is he going? I knew you'd get your one in first. There he is. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh. Do you know what? Sometimes in fishing, you just got to state the truth. That's a very big fish that I've got there. So I'm going to give a shout out to the gentleman who's just landed one to the right of me, Ryan. There, the people that know pegs three and four at Christine, you could basically put a line down the middle, and all the fish are stacked up on Ryan's side. And fair play to Ryan, he didn't have to. And he said, you know what, if you want to stick one at the back where he's had a couple of fish, go for it, he said, because I'm done. This fish really should be Ryan's fish, not mine. And thanks for that, mate, I really right, appreciate it. Good. You know, so I just wanted to state the truth. You know, sometimes in carp fishing, you see a lot of these YouTubers and bigger platforms, yeah, me, me, me. I can tell you now on this one, that rod weren't in that spot. I was probably looking at a blank if I'm honest with you. I still got a night to go, but just thought I'd be honest with the viewers, lads. So let's get it out and see what she weighs, eh? The uh, maybe we'll call this fish Ryan's fish, eh? 36, 12, I reckon. Yeah. Six, eight, ten. 36, 10, I'd say. 36, yeah. 10, I'd say. Lovely. That will do. Right chaps, you just see an immense battle. And uh, the fish known as the Long Common, in Cotton, Christine, sorry. To be fair, one that I've not had, and uh, yeah, a bit of mixed emotions with this one, you know. It's, Ryan let me fish that spot, and uh, I'd have settled for a 16 pounder. And typical, I've gone and caught one of the biggest commons in the lake. There's only one bigger than this. There she is, so I'll hold her up, 36.10, I think the boys settled on, she's normally around the 37 mark. But yeah, a bit of mixed emotions lads, you know, so. But yeah, there she is. The long common. From Christine at 36.10. She's been in here a while this one, so again she's one of the original ones. And who said that Christine was full of small fish? There we go chaps, they're in here. And here's one of them, so uh, £36.10. Yes, like I say, I'd have been happy for a 16 pounder. So, uh, Ryan, appreciate it mate. It's very kind of you to let me fish that spot. <coughs> so, uh, but yeah, what an absolute immaculate Christine Common for £36.10. I'll spin him round for you guys. And there she is again. You can see why she gets the name the Long Common. So, uh, that's probably why she gives a good fight all the time. Yeah, an immaculate fish that is. So, uh, the roll continues, lads, with big uns. Isn't it, hey? So, uh, 
but yeah what an absolute buzz like I say we're just coming in it's about four o'clock sound like that we're all checking the football scores and then this one came out the blue and uh, yeah what an immaculate fish from Christine like I say chaps it's not just Pepper that's got the big ones Christine has them as well so uh, I'll get some stills and we get this fish straight back Normally around the 37s, 38s. Absolute breeze block. And there you go, mate. Well, saved the blank. And I'm absolutely overjoyed now. So we've all caught Ryan's tore it a new one. But yeah. So grateful, so grateful. Thanks, Ryan. Um. Magic, see if we can get another one. Well, like we were saying earlier, it's that spot, and uh, it's only been back out there. Well, don't know, half an hour. Well, I had another tension between that and uh, yeah it's gone again that same spot in that hole over there and uh, yeah we're away again chaps so I can see this being a busy night up down up down up down so, uh, so yep let's enjoy the fight friends now. I'm going to use his neck as well. <laughs> you can wait. Pals are four, aren't they, bruv? They let you fish a spot. You move in. You let them in there swim. You nick their fucking net as well, bruv. That's all love on the O'Connor angle. There's no attitude here and no aggressiveness on this channel. But yeah, I think I might have to move out of this swim. As I don't believe it. It's, it's another big one. She's another big one from Christine. Talk about time and everything. Correct. 25-4? Yeah? Yeah. There we go, chaps. 25-4 common. Two or one, it's like a London bus, eh? So, uh, same spot as where 
36 come from. But yeah, happy boy. I've, uh, I say a lot of these good fish in Christine. Sometimes you have to wait for them, it just depends what shoal you're on. But as you can see, the shoal that, that we're all on, or should I say Ryan's on, is a very, very big shoal. So, uh, so yeah, overjoyed. Let's spin him out. And there's the other side. Shall scale perfect this side. Uh, yep, yeah, another immaculate one. And uh, I think I'm gonna have a cup of tea. Getting old, you know, chaps. I'll leave it to the young guns to do all this uh, big hit fishing. So, uh, yeah, let's get him straight back. There we go. So, uh, lovely job. And as they say, that's me done. Right guys, we're coming on to the Saturday evening now. And, uh, yeah, what a day it's been really. It's uh, weather conditions and we're a lot better today than yesterday. And uh, we had a bit of rain today. And uh, But yeah, to get a couple of fish in the end, I mean, especially two good ones really, a 25 and the long common at 36.10. You know, it's, uh, yeah, it's what dreams are made of, isn't it? You know, so the big fish roll continues. I thought it was gonna stop at one point. But yeah, it's uh, it's been a, it's been a great day today. Like I say, it's you know all of us have all got on very well. Some of the bloke opposites had a few bleeps, but yeah, the um, everyone's got on well. We've all caught now as well. Hopefully, Cameron can catch a better one, and it will keep the uh, keep the standards up as such, keep the weights up. And uh, but yeah, it's been a fantastic trip, lads. I'm absolutely shattered. I didn't get a good night's sleep at all last night, so I think I'm going to absolutely KO tonight. Been a lovely barbecue, just watched a bit of football. But yeah, all in all, it's been a very, very good trip. So like I say, we've still got the night to go. And then obviously that first light period, so I'm expecting a couple more, hopefully. But yeah, if we don't, we don't, lads. But what I'll do is I'll come back to you guys in the morning <coughs> and uh, let you know, obviously, what's going on in the night. And then we'll touch on some bait as well with what I've been catching on. So, um, no, yeah, oh, there's another one just there. Funny enough, it's on your rod, that camera. Just put his head out. So, uh, who knows, Cameron might get one this evening. But yeah, the, uh, I think we'll leave the Saturday update there. And... Uh, as you can see, I'm that good chaps. Gonna love you and leave ya, and I'll see you in the morning. Alright, morning guys. And, uh, yeah, it's the morning update for you lot. And, uh, yeah, basically not a lot happened last night. And, uh, like I say, I had a lovely night's kip until 20 past three this morning and uh, left hand rod ripped off and where I'm fishing onto the far margin is obviously something sharp there because unfortunately we lost one there yesterday as well and uh, yeah the line snapped I mean that's 21 pound fluorocarbon as well and it's quite thick had it on for a little while you know the old seesaw effect with it anyway the lines the lines parted company shall I say that was pretty much it for me so yeah I had a nice kit and then I got up at quarter six this morning Anyway, we was just sitting there having a chat like you do, me and Cameron. And Cameron's right hand rod has absolutely, no left hand rod, sorry, is absolutely ripped off. And uh, yeah, it was the missing piece of the cake. He's only gone and had a 33 six. So, uh, and it is the, a great ending really, you know. Like, so all of us have had 30 pounders now from Christine. I believe that's five or six 30s now, something like that. And uh, yeah, because we was all excited for him, you know, etc. We took the pictures. We forgot to bloody film it, didn't we? 
So I'm assuming Cameron will probably put the pictures up as I'm talking now. Got some lovely shots of it as well. Got a nice one in the sling, nice one of it in the mat as well, looking like a breeze block. And uh, so yeah, Cameron finally got his 30 pounder from Christine. So yeah, like I say, we've had a very, very good trip. It's gone obviously quiet for me this morning. Cameron's the only one to catch. But while we're on the subject of catching, obviously I thought we'd go through a bit of bait with you with what we've been doing, etc., and uh, what has been working. Now, obviously, been using the Steamies range now in all the videos, and again, just so confident with it. The people that have seen previous videos, you'll see the catch rate. Catch rates don't lie, do they? Especially when you're seeing it with the naked eye. So I'll go through it now quickly with you. That's the 15 mil TNT, that one. And that is what's been doing the damage on most of these videos. I've done well on the krill as well. I've done well on that at Coking. But yeah, this one is the one that's done the damage for me. That's in 15 mil. And the TNT stands for Tiger Nut and Toffee. And I say the bait is steamed rather than boiled. And uh, there's definitely sank in it, 100%. So as you can see, the good thing is they're in resealable bags as well, chaps. So bundle them straight back in your freezer, seal them up. They're not gonna end up in the bottom of the freezer like a lot of these other companies bags do. But yeah, we're using them. Obviously I'm soaking it in the Tiger Nut and Toffee rocket fuel. Basically that's a double strength booster. So they're gonna know that that's there. And then as for the up baits, just using the, the 12 and the 15 mil, the TNT ones again. Like I say, they're a beige, beige color, but it just complements the bait. It's that washed out look, chaps. You know, that beige -y, like washed out look. And then something a bit different. I mean, there's no logo on this from Steamies, but I did want to bring it up because you can get your own bait rolled from Steamies. So basically, if you want a certain flavor, I don't know, say you wanted vanilla with a nut mix, for instance, they'll do it. So you don't have to have what they, they do, if that makes sense, or like with other companies as well, you can only have like certain ones. If you and the lads want to get on a certain bait and then obviously develop that bait, then you want it to go into that lake, Pick whatever flavours you want, pick whatever base mix you want, whatever food liquid you want, they do it. These ones, Benny's little specials as I call them, and no, I'm not gonna tell you what's in them, because it's my little secret. But yeah, I would say, we've had one on them as well. But yeah, that's the bait, check out the Steamy's range and that. I mean, all the end tackle's been from Deception, PVA's from Castaway and the SM leads, obviously. We use them a lot because the coatings on them, they stay on the lead, they're not coming off not like other lead companies. But at the moment, I think that'll do for bait, but that's what's been doing the do. But yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed myself this session. And to be fair, Ryan, I mean, he's just a lad that's gone fishing, you know, and we've all got on really well. And I think we're gonna make it like a yearly thing between us now. And yeah, we bombarded his swim. Cameron's bombarded my swim, and uh, but it's worked. We've all caught 30 pounders, and you know, it's a credit to Cottington, credit, credit Christine and uh, yeah, we've all enjoyed ourselves. So, uh, like I say, but that's the bait. It's been doing the damage. The TNT from Steamies. And like I say, I think it's time for me to start packing up. It is nine o'clock in the morning on the Sunday. And uh, yeah, I think I'll give me missus a quick call and it's time for me to get home and have a bit of family time. But uh, if anything happens in the meantime, I will come back to you guys before we go. But yeah, but, yeah that's the morning update. Voila. Right, chaps, we've come to the end of the session here at Cottington on Christine Lake. And yeah, we never had any more after that update. But, the, uh, but yeah, what a session. I mean, I think Ryan's had 4.30, something like that. I've had a 36, the long one. And then Cameron's top it off this morning with a 33. <clears throat> you know, it's, uh, it's a dream session, lads. So yeah, 6.30s from a day ticket at a weekend, including 20s and doubles as well, so you can't complain. And like I say, chaps, it's not just about pepper on this complex. There are other lakes as well, you know. So, uh, like I say, we do have the Elite um, on here as well. And Christine is involved in that. And uh, yeah, there's been a few 30s out in that match. But there's certainly a few in here. Like I said, about four years ago when I netted it, there was 18 different 30s. At the moment, there could be probably in excess of about 25 different 30s now in Christine. Because some of these ones that we've caught, a few of them I recognise, but some of them have grown on, so the 27s and 28s, they're now in the 30 bracket. So, uh, but yeah, what a session. I'd just like to thank Ryan as well. Like I say, he, he was just a normal angler. We vivid up next to him. 
and uh, yeah, he's part of the show and he's been very very kind with what he's done so fair play to him I'd say thanks to Cameron as well travelled a long way down all the way I believe from Grimsby in it Sheffield Sheffield well, it's near isn't it it's past, the, it's past Watford so it's north isn't it lads to me you know, it's on the M1 let's put it that way so uh, but yeah no he's done a grand job I'm sure lots of editing for him lots of work but I'm sure it'll come out well so but if you haven't subscribed to the channel I'd be grateful you could subscribe Leave a comment if there's anything about Cottington Lakes you want to know, or Christine, or even Pepper. Leave it in the comment section and I'll get back to you. I will answer it. Give us a thumbs up and all that malarkey. And, uh, but yeah, what a session here at Christine Lake. So uh, I think that's enough from me. So uh, until next time, hope you all catch a banger. And that's Tadal from me.